Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome back to the second portion of our Sabbath services here at the house of Yehuda. If you missed the first lesson, you missed a treat. The minister Yim, Elder Yim, dealt with lies, lying, and a little bit of pride. And one of the things that I spoke to him about during the course of the break was what I got from his lesson, which magnified the scriptures when he spoke of the righteous are as bold as a lion. And the righteous are bold because they tell the truth. When it comes to low self-esteem and self-esteem, or have a high self-esteem, the righteous have a very high self-esteem, and you can have a high self-esteem without being arrogant. Because the righteous, because the scriptures also state that in the fear of Yahweh is strong confidence. And in having strong confidence, you can be humble. And you're humble by recognizing where your strength comes from. When we become arrogant and we lie, that's when most of us lie because of the fear of man. Because of the fear of not being strong enough to handle the repercussions of what comes behind the truth. But always refer back to the righteous are as bold as a lion. So praise Yahweh. That we're in for a truth. The second portion of our Bible services. But until then, we're going to give some praise to the Most High. So we're going to open up the second portion of today's Sabbath services with praise, through song, through poetry, hint, hint. Duh. We're going to open up and we're going to praise the Almighty. <laughs> But first, coming to the stage, to the forefront, to praise the Almighty, a two young lions of Yah. So come on up, young lions, stand before the people as we give glory and praise to Yahweh by saying, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me. 
if you when he stand up, if you when he stand up, I'm gonna keep on saying this. Yeah, if you with me, just stand up and don't say anything, cause we gonna raise y'all. So stand up and praise y'all. Come on, cause we gonna do this, we gonna do this. So no matter what they say, we gonna keep on praise y'all.
Too. I know she's about to do something deep because she's bring out the scriptures. So it's about to be something powerful. So coming up next, let's give a hand to All Sister right. God. Yeah. 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 My head is down low, not because my self esteem bears the weight of bad clothing or bad skin. But because I am ashamed to stand before the Most High with a high head. Because my sins have weighed me down. These are sins that I have chosen for whatever reason to make. And it is only through the mercy of the Most High Yahweh, the creator of all things, that I can stand here today and say thank you, Yahweh, for all your blessings and your continuous mercy not only in blessing me to see another year on this earth, but to be able to stand here on your Sabbath day and speak to the world about your enduring mercy. Hallelujah. Because it's only your judgment that will matter. See, a person can sin and be before the eyes of man, and man's mercy at best is menial. At worst, it's non-existent. But Yahweh said that if you turn from those sins, he will forgive you. He won't stand and whisper to his neighbor when you walk by talking about the things that you did or did not do. <gasps> Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rip that band-aid off, but somebody's got to do it. It is only Yahweh's mercy that allows me to wake each and every day, despite the sins that I commit. It's only Yahweh's mercy. So if I don't freely walk around happy, and pass judgment on others, even myself. That's because I know that there is somebody, there's a bigger creator, there's a grander picture. I'm not talking about the works of artists, of the human kind. I'm talking about the greatest artist, the most grand creator of all things. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Israel, I-S-R-A-E-L. Yes, I must spell it and be very specific because there are a bunch of people walking around talking about his son's name is this and his son's name is that. I'm not going into the details because it's against the law for me to say the name of another deity. Whether they be fictional or the work of man's hands. Oh, that's fiction too. It doesn't really exist. It's only the mercy of the Most High Yah. Only the mercy of the Most High Yah. It is only the mercy of the Most High Yah that Israel is still about today because he made a promise to our ancestors. And despite the fact that we literally spit in the Most High's face, we trample on his law. He gave us chance after chance after chance. Yes, we were punished in the process and we swore to the Most High that we would turn our acts around and focus and follow only him. That was temporary. Because as soon as we thought he wasn't looking, we went right back to our transgressions. It's 2015 and we're doing the exact same thing. And yet and still, Israel exists. It's not the phonies over in the land. The ones that claim to be the chosen people of the Most High Yah. Seriously? Yahweh said there would be peace in that land when his people get back there. When have you ever heard of any peace over there in that land? Never. 
never. You will not hear about it because they are not the true chosen people. Peace will be there when the chosen people get there. And contrary to what the world may act like they don't know, it's the people y'all love to hate. It's the ones with the saggy pants and the backwards hats that refer to their females as bitches. It's the females that walk around having baby after baby after baby by who knows who. It's the people that you love to hate. It's the ones that you look down on. It's the ones that you may bless when you think something back is coming to you. It's the people you look down on. It's the people you click your door locks when they standing on the corner and you at the stoplight in your car. It's the people that you walk by and you clutch your purse because you think, oh, well, the only thing we wake up and think to do in the morning is rob Miss Anna of her pearl. Mm -hmm. It's the people that you sell drugs to. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no poppy fields in Lincoln Heights. Oh. How did it get there? We don't own any planes. <clears throat> Yes, our people are affected by crack, but I don't see any cocoa fields near my neighborhood. Ain't no water hills. All the green gardens that they build in the abandoned lots. How many of you have seen a poppy or a cocoa plant in them? You have it. We, Israel, the black man, the black woman, and the black child have been afflicted by all of these things. Because our Elohim Yahweh said that we are going to pay for the iniquities of our forefathers. All the promises that our ancestors went back on. We are feeling the effects of that this day. And it is only because of the mercy of the Most High Yahweh that we in this room have been enlightened enough to know who our Creator is and can talk about these things with honesty and with boldness and with fierceness. Yeah. Slavery taught us about JC. But that's the power you can make you weak. It's the only word of the Most High Yahweh that will make you strong. So Yahweh, I come before you humbly on this day that you set aside. And I say thank you, Yahweh, for your mercy and for the strength to get up in front of the world and thank you for that mercy because I am sinfully present. I know your law and I have backslid and yet you still bless me to wake up and praise your righteous and holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning, good evening, and good night. The sun rules the day and the evening, and the moon and stars rule the night. God has perfect order, but we are out of order. We walk contrary to our king. The one that angels sing to. Hands are designed strictly for him, but replaced with Christ. It is sickening. Each day he gives us breath to walk and to praise him with, but instead of praising the with the breath that he gave us, we curse with the breath that he gave us. Our walk is constantly being tested. Our, our road to salvation is constantly being paved with thorns and thistles which make us weak when it's supposed to make the bottom of our feet, the skin tough like our ancestors. We were supposed to take the chains off and regain our name though, but it seems as though we want to rock the chains because the chains is what's given to us by our oppressor. Thank you, Jacob, man. Time to wake up. Esau has allowed us to be put into positions of where we have been destroyed. But then I digress. I digress because our progress has constantly been walking backwards. Y'all takes two y'all takes two steps with us forward. And we take three steps from him backwards, out of order. 
It seems as though our machine needs a fixing because listen to the squeaks and the sounds that we make every time we try to justify our wickedness. Man, we are evil. But good morning and good evening and good night. The sun rules the day and evening and the moon and stars rule the night. Yahweh has perfect order for his creation loves being out of order. Praise y'all. Now, we're switching up a little bit. I have the honor of bringing up this great teacher and this